Okay, and that's fine. So it's uh, good to know that we have started with automation and switch to Java. Okay, yes, so that's yeah. better. Okay, so we'll start from basic core Java questions. Okay, yes. Okay, so uh, what's the difference between runnable and callable interface? Okay. Okay, so runnable interface we use in uh, multi-threading. Okay, so this uh, callable interface we use uh, for the uh, purpose of uh, creating uh, executor uh, executor framework where we can create a, a pool of threads, pool of worker threads. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, then that, uh, so yeah, yeah uh, by using callable uh, interface, we can uh, uh, create, uh, yeah, that is uh, like, uh, yeah, worker threads, yes. So, it in this case, we can create uh, uh, multiple numbers of uh, threads at the same moment of time. And uh, we can uh, reuse those as and when required. Okay, fine. Yes. So, what's the difference between comparator and comparable interface? Okay, so <clears throat> uh, comparator uh, uses uh, uh, a single. Uh, parameter for comparison while using a comparable we can uh, consider uh, 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 multiple parameters uh, for a comparison and uh, using that comparison we can sort the uh, we can do the sorting operation that's the basic difference yes and uh, this uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, this comparator has this uh, uh, compare method to be uh, to be overridden, and uh, this comparable interface has compare to method. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. What is concurrent hash map? Concurrent hash map. Yes. So <clears throat> concurrent hash map. So as the name suggests, it is a uh, it is a thread safe operation. While in a hash map, uh, uh, it is uh, not synchronized. So using concurrent uh, hash map, we can achieve this uh, thread safety. Okay, what thread safety? What do you mean by thread safety? Okay, so uh, so whenever there are multiple, uh, multi okay. So whenever there are, uh, uh, we if we are getting uh, calls from, okay, so with concurrent hash map we can. Uh, Avoid uh, a concurrent modification exception <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, uh, while uh, while with a uh, hash map we get that uh, concurrent modification exception exception on uh, uh, you know when when on there is a uh, uh, multi modification from multiple requests to the hash map and we can avoid this exception using concurrent hash map mm -hmm. okay fine what is the concept of generics 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 is basically for type safety um, by using generics we uh, say at the time of initialization, initialization itself that what uh, kind of uh, objects uh, we are going to uh, store into this specific 
collection. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what benefit we will get? We will get. Suppose we are creating a list. List of. So we have specified that only integer can be inserted. Uh, so we use this angular bracket uh, while creating like. Um, uh, uh, while specific, if we want to have uh, only integer element, so we specify this uh, uh, integer uh, abstract class over there, like list into the uh, angular bracket, we will say integer and then uh, we specify the reference variable like uh, list one equal to a new array list. Again, we will specify this uh, integer and uh, with parenthesis, we will initialize the uh, collection. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fine. So with this, we can avoid uh, other type of uh, data getting inserted into our data, our collection. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is serialization? Serialization is. Uh, Serialization is used uh, to uh, basically this operation is called uh, serialization where there is a uh, to store the ob state of the object we use serialization and uh, using serialization we can store the state of the object into file system or into uh, in uh, uh, into in reference variable itself. Mm -hmm. Suppose and uh, as and when required, uh, we can restore that state of an object. Yes. What is the process of restoring? What do we call that? Uh, that process you are asking. Yes. What is the name of that process of restoring from you know byte stream to object? Or file stream. That is a deserialization. Okay. Okay. Yes. Suppose uh, in serialization, and uh, I do not want to serialize serialize some of the field. Mm -hmm. So what we can do to restrict? Yes. Uh, so we use we use keyword uh, transient for that particular. Uh, field so that field won't get uh, serialized mm -hmm. okay yes fine and what happens with the static keywords do so, static serialized or not static keyword will get serialized or not so static keyword uh, static variables okay. i'm not sure about it yeah for static keywords whether it will get serialized or not sorry yes mm -hmm. okay how can we create a immutable class uh, in order to create immutable, uh, so property immutable itself specifies that it uh, once it is uh, you know initialized, it should not get modified. So in order to achieve that, uh, uh, we use we make use of final keyword. We uh, mark that particular class as a final plus uh, <clears throat> and. Uh, uh, And inside that, what is the uh, 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 so in constructor itself, constructor will also be final, and in parameterized constructor itself, will be initializing the value of the field uh, fields are that that are there in that class, and uh, and we will have one getter function to get the value of that particular field or fields and uh, <clears throat> we will not specify setter class so that what are the design patterns that you worked on so i know 
singleton and factory design pattern very well uh, other than that uh, uh, other than that i haven't got exposure to uh, i haven't got exposure to other design pattern yet okay so, there is one more design pattern that was advance of factory design pat- pattern but i couldn't remember its name yeah hmm. why we use factory design pattern uh we use factory design pattern to achieve uh, run time type safety so uh, so using factory design pattern we make a class until we make a class intelligent itself that after giving the value it will uh, internally decide uh, its type and uh, and initialize the object so that is the basic purpose of factory design pattern mm-hmm. <coughs> okay and any idea about builder design pattern Uh, which one builder yes builder design pattern builder design pattern no 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 idea yeah okay fine what are the new features of java 8 uh so java 8 has <clears throat> uh uh many big features like a uh, functional interface uh streams api then there is a concept of parallel streams also uh and uh, other than that uh, java 8 has this uh, uh interface in which we can uh, use this uh, 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 static method we can uh, create a static method in interface <coughs> Mm-hmm. yes so basically functional interface uh using the functional interface we can achieve the lambda lambda expressions in java so that is also one of a big uh, uh feature which enables us to uh, achieve uh, in line uh, in line operations in java what is consumer interface consumer interface as its name suggests it consumes only uh so uh so consumer interface uh, takes the input and uh uh it has uh, uh it has this uh, abstract method called uh, collect and uh using which we can uh, achieve inline operations mm-hmm. it's a functional interface yeah okay, okay. fine so coming to spring <laughs> what are the scopes of a spring bean yes so spring bean has uh, several scope uh <clears throat> so by default it has uh, uh it has a scope which is uh, uh which is like a singleton pattern okay it initializes the object at only once and there is this uh, uh prototype scope uh, with which on every other uh, Uh, on every other request it will be generating a new instance of an object <coughs> uh, other than there are uh, other scopes also but i couldn't recall it what is the use of at the rate qualifier at the rate qualifier at the rate qualifier <laughs> Uh, so using at the rate uh, qualifier we can uh, sorry i couldn't recall the proper uh, functionality of qualifier yeah mm-hmm. 
Okay, okay, fine. Yes. In Hibernate, you know, how we can get the object from database? What is the name of the method? Okay, Hibernate so or... to interact with uh, uh, Hibernate, we create this DAO classes and uh, we have one configuration file specific to Hibernate mm -hmm. and we uh, specify relations relationship into that file <coughs> uh, uh, specific to uh, entity that we are creating on our backend mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so and at the time of uh, uh, class initialization uh, uh, we and we uh, create those DAO classes uh, to interact with Hibernate with the help of uh, those classes we uh, extract the data from database using Hibernate so basically there is this configuration file that uh, plays the key role mm -hmm. okay. what's the difference between get and load get and load hmm. no i'm not sure okay fine yes okay harshal uh, i'm done